have you also struggled with creating you know uh, data tables in your designs have you also struggled with you know updating the text or updating the tables or the huge tables in your design uh, if you want to you know show the actual data or dummy data in the designs uh, have you also you know uh, did it manually every time then yes today i have a very great plugin to help you get out of the situation and update your data tables within the minutes and probably you can take help of the chat gpt as well uh, definitely you can use 3.5 we are not going to do anything with the chat gpt here chat gpt is just to generate the data or if you already have data you can simply you know get that data and uh, uh fill it in your designs real quick using this plugin so before that i'll quickly you know show you what we have here we simply have you know uh multiple duplicate rows uh you know uh, just one is a table header and then i have 10 rows here just you know same copy nothing fancy you know i just have text in the cells and definitely i would be having a separate video on you know where we'd be covering how to create a table component that will help you to you know create and adapt any sort of tables very easily very quickly and just you know using one single component uh, or one single master component of the table right well that is a different topic we will go to that in a separate video but now let's you know quickly jump into the chat gpt and let's quickly you know ask it to generate the data for us uh, so probably you know we can say hey i want i need some user data oops we have to be very specific please give me 10 rows of the data in an excel like format for name age what else we have name age uh, i guess number or what number and gender number and gender if you want to you know be specific with the region with the country you can definitely add the name of the region or the country let's say i want data uh, for indian people so i can say you know uh, i'm expecting data for india okay so this will give us 10 rows very quickly so i'll just hit enter you can you know uh, be more descriptive in your uh, prompt you can you know ask it uh, give it, give me more uh, De like uh, give me more details so it will give you more details but yes it depends uh let me just quickly copy all these things from here i'll go to excel sheet uh oops okay i already had one here sorry let me just delete this and i'll paste the you know recently copied updated data here okay and i'll just save this uh user data sheet i'll quickly go to the figma i'll go to the plugins tab and i'll type text repeat greed i'll give you link of this plugin in the description itself so quickly open this plugin and then you know simply go to the spreadsheet tab select the direction of your data in the repeat order so in this case we have repeated rows so select the second option make sure you know you're choosing the direction properly uh, for your data if you are you know selecting an incorrect uh, you know direction then you will mess up with your data so let me quickly drop the file here which we have recently created so i'll just quickly drop it here now the trick part is i'll select all the rows here okay and then i'll simply click on apply that's it you know we have created this uh, awesome data table just in minutes you can say you know we have just duplicated the row and we have simply added the data in it let's say you know you have uh, another set of uh, table just hypothetically and you know you want to get the data from one data table and paste it to the other so let me just you know quickly uh, undo this uh, change here for example i had this you know uh, other data which is uh, for a different set of country or a uh, region okay so I'll just you know go back to the Figma. I'll select the you know the other uh, you know other table rows from the other table. In fact, you know I'll tell you a very uh, quick super tip here. If you know you are working on such nested hierarchies, what you can do is you can simply hold your command button and simply drag, and you know you can select all the nested objects uh, in a single go. If you want to select all the nested objects, you can do it like this as well. And uh, one more thing, if you you know hit Shift and Return then you can select the parent so you can see you know all rows we have selected very quickly i guess we missed first one let me do it manually so i have selected oops sorry uh yeah uh you you can you know hit uh, command shift to select the uh you know uh, components uh, or layers in any order okay now i have selected all the rows here i'll go again to the spreadsheet tab i'll select the direction and i'll just drop the same file again because we have updated the data in the excel only so i'll just update it here and then apply and now you can see uh you know data has been updated here and let's say now you know i want to copy this data uh, you know from uh, this table to you know some other table 
uh, for example it doesn't have 10 rows uh, or maybe you know have five rows or or any any sort of you know it is just a hypothetical situation but you know there could be use cases where you want to copy the data from uh, one design and you want to paste it to the other so in that case what we can do is we can simply select any you know design where we have all the text we can go to the input and we can simply you know click on get text from selection it will get all the data here and now you can select where you want to apply i will select the entire sec uh, entire you know data table here and i'll simply apply this now you can see you know my this data is copied real quick and it has been applied here you may you know uh, select it again and randomize the input uh, in this case you know you may lose your table header but yes uh, <laughs> because you know it has randomized the data and it doesn't have any specific logic to randomize the data but let's say if you're doing it uh, for one single row then you know you can select a single row and uh, let's say I want data from this row I'll copy this like I'll select you know these rows I'll simply say uh, get text from the input or uh, text from the selection I'll again select these texts here I'll select randomize input and I'll say apply now it has you know applied the data to this uh, selection very quickly you can do it uh, multiple times if you want to you know get the random names here it is just shuffling the names from this data or this set of data only it is not you know adding any other extra names it is just uh, changing the order of the names and you are getting you know random uh, input here uh, very quickly so I hope you have enjoyed this video uh, so you know just to get you know more insights uh, on such tools such plugins or uh, <laughs> UI UX design then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon as well because that will keep you notified with all our upcoming uploads and yeah that's all till then keep watching keep learning keep designing